You can create a table from ribbon or use the icon in the content placeholder. Click on insert. Click on table button. You can see a list of table creation options. You can move the mouse pointer over the grid to indicate how many rows and columns you want in the table. Once selected the rows and columns, click on mouse to add the table to the slide. Or you can click on the insert table insert table dialog box is displayed. Enter the number of columns and rows and click on OK to add the table. Or click on the draw table You can see mouse pointer changes to pencil. Now drag and create a rectangle on the slide to create a one cell table in which you must manually draw columns and rows. Or you can click on Excel spreadsheet. To embed a Excel spreadsheet into the slide. This will allow you to use Excel formatting tools. You can also click on the table icon in a content placeholder, which will display the insert table dialog box. You can enter number of columns and rows and click on OK to add the table. Click on a table cell and you can start typing text. Use tab to go to the next cell to enter data. If you press tab from the last cell of the table, it adds a new row to the table. You can see the new row is added to the table. If you want to insert rows or columns, click on a cell and right click on mouse. From the mini toolbar, click on insert rows or columns. You can insert rows above or below the selected row. You can insert columns to the left or right of the selected column. If you click on delete, you can delete rows or columns or entire table. The number of rows columns inserted or deleted depends on how many rows columns you selected before right clicking on mouse. You can select multiple columns by clicking on a cell and dragging the mouse pointer. You can see two columns are selected. If you try to insert now, two columns will be added. If you try to delete, the selected columns will be deleted. To select multiple columns, you can move cursor above or below column until it turns into a black arrow. And click on it to select the column or you can drag this pointer to select multiple columns. You can select rows also similarly by moving cursor to right or left of rows. If you are having trouble selecting rows or columns, click on layout. 
click on select you can select a column or row or entire table you can also use insert rows above below and insert columns to left right buttons to add rows and columns You can also use delete rows, columns or entire table. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.